welcome to you both. Thank you for being on the show. Did that sound occur in everyone else's head? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, what happened on the last episode of Travel Man that made you decide you didn't want to do it anymore? Well, I had a suspicion I didn't like travel. <laughs> um, and yeah, over yeah. four brutal years, yep. I confirmed that suspicion. <laughs> right. it, it wasn't personal. No? It's never been personal with me. It could be anyone. <laughs> um, I thought it was uh, incredible chemistry, and it might have scared you. Right. Well, you need to have a uh, soul to have chemistry. And I've destroyed mine long ago. <laughs> um, so it really wasn't you. Okay. Um, but we can make it... We can make more of it. Um, or just allow this moment to die in the way it currently is. <laughs> <laughs> also, my teacher at school couldn't work the video player. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted him having a gun. <laughs> it's very different standards. So they're allowed guns. At my school, we weren't allowed conkers. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, what's your opinion on this? Well, I've always been pro-gun, you know that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think adding more guns into a situation is obviously the way to prevent shooting. <laughs> um, I think, in a way, if we take the guns away, the shootings may escalate. <laughs> and that's, I think that's why he's so firm yeah. on, on, on literally arming everyone. Yeah. I yeah. think if you don't have a gun in your hand, well... Well, let's not find out <laughs> <laughs> what that world would be. I also go, what's the worst-case scenario with banning guns? Uh, what, what's the worst thing that can happen? Just people don't get shot? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Have you seen Mad Max? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. it's like Brexit, but less entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so. I mean, it's where they negotiate the treaty in the desert. And... <laughs> I'll tell you, I mean, the argument for, 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 for against banning guns is that the, the wrong people will still get their hands on guns. So you oh. might as well... You know, that old argument that a good guy with a gun will always stop a bad guy with okay. a gun. OK. But... Which is why drugs are legal. <laughs> <laughs> good point. <laughs> Richard Victoria, I wanted... It's quite Welsh, isn't it? Welsh do that, and they call the, well, the old on the old days somebody would be baker because that's right, what they yes. do. Yeah. Actually, you know, I once called the owner of Sainsbury's Lord Sainsbury. Then it turned out it was his name. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was yeah. the guy's name. It was the guy's name. Richard, I like him. You like Donald Trump? I, I mean, more and more. I, <laughs> I just, I'm really enjoying his work. <laughs> I sort of feel to be able to be an idiot on that level is incredible and it, it makes you realize it really doesn't matter nothing matters it's and i find that reassuring <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's gonna be fine because someone doesn't even know who he's in the meeting with and it's it's fine i mean what happened <laughs> nothing happened it's fine he could have called him tony shit garden <laughs> well for me the whole thing's very much business as usual um i thought everyone was standing too close to each other as it was <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly... I, I've really noticed virtually no changes. I mean, those around me cry more, but um, that was going up daily. <laughs> um, I'm very happy with the arrangement. Long may it continue. I, you know, yep. I feel you're crowding me now, quite frankly. <laughs> I, I didn't like that little bench over there where I was pressed up against who knows who. <laughs> and uh, the whole thing was a write-off, so I think it's all right. Um, I speak out loud a lot, but I was doing that before. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, how do you mean speak out loud? Well, you know, to myself. Right, I you see. You know, in the street and also uh, under mattresses. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I've watched a lot of 30s gangsters films, so, you know, I occasionally lapse into Jimmy Cagney now. I see. Flat okay. Earthers think that the North Pole is right in the middle here. There we go. The North Pole's in the middle. The Arctic Circle is spread out all the way around, uh, and, and the government don't want you to go beyond that. What are your, speaking of cults, what are your thoughts on flat earthers? I'm trying to stay out of the debate. Um, <laughs> really? Currently. I mean, yep. you know, best of luck um, to the lads. Yep. Um, and it does seem like it's lads. Um, <laughs> good. That's a good point. Why not? Um, I mean, other than being wrong. <laughs> why, I mean, why not? You don't, you don't have to be right about things. <laughs> That's so bourgeois. <laughs> Some flat earthers have propagated a theory that Australia doesn't exist. Now, I'm, fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm not sure. If, <laughs> I'm not sure if you crossed this. There was a post on a flat earther forum in 2006 that claimed that Australia is a hoax 
created by <laughs> Britain to cover up the reality that all of their criminals and convicts were in fact drowned. Now, that post was recently put back up on Facebook as a joke, but a whole bunch of flat earthers have jumped back on board this bus and ridden it all the way to crazy town. <laughs> they actually claim that all Australians are actors and computer-generated personas. <laughs> and that if you think you've been to Australia, you've actually just been flown to a nearby island. <laughs> I mean, that almost went somewhere else. Uh, Rex, <laughs> it's as dry as my mum's chicken on a Sunday. <laughs> Ooh, Aiden, it's as dry as Alex Brooker's right sock. <laughs> Uh, Jay Walsh. <laughs> Jay Walsh, as dry as Melania Trump on her wedding night. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh come on, she was crying. <laughs>